Hey everyone, welcome back to episode of Let's Play Nothing, because, again, I always say that for no reason, and today it's a general Shadow Gaming News. In episode, sorry I have not done this for a while. Been busy on my other account, Exceeding Shadow, which you should subscribe. It's like the first channel in the subscriptions, or not in the featured list box thing, wherever it may be, on the anywhere. Anyways, in general, welcome back. Today, I have a lot of news for you today. First, let's, let's start with uh, 3DS news, alright? So, alright, first. So, Sega told us about, maybe about a week or half ago, that they're going to release a new Sonic game for the 3DS. And it's going to be on the eShop. That's pretty cool. But the thing is, it's not new or really anything. It's more like a 3D remake. So, it's just Sonic the Hedgehog 1, the original Sonic the Hedgehog, I believe. Because they just said Sonic the Hedgehog, hoping it's not Sonic 06. Hoping not Sonic 06. It might be, but we're hoping it's not. Hey, if they can fucking fix all the glitches, hallelujah, but I, I, I really doubt it. Anyways, Sonic the Hedgehog is doing a 3D version of itself, and it's going on to the Nintendo 3DS, but I really doubt it's not going to be that good, because it's just like, hey... We got so many other million versions, Green Hill Zone, and all these other things, and Sonic the Hedgehog, you play it on, you can play Sonic the Hedgehog on Sonic Jam, you can play Sonic the Hedgehog on Sonic Classics, you can play Sonic the Hedgehog on a Genesis, you can play Sonic the Hedgehog on the Mega Drive, Mass System, GameCube, PS2, Xbox, 360, Wii, PS3, all consoles now, even phones, can play Sonic the Hedgehog. This game is just out there so many times we already know. So, there's a new Sonic 3D like form of it, so, hey. Anyways. So, uh. So, um. EA. Kind of bothering me with that little sound of the air and the. Sorry! Anyways, EA says that there will be, uh. A little press conference. We already knew this from Nintendo. Uh, from E3, but they will be involved somehow in it. They'll also put all their focuses in this year, or next year, I'm not really sure what they're telling me, but all their focuses for the next uh, year for the Nintendo Wii U, because they have some titles on the console already, but not enough that they sh think they're not supporting it all well, even though they enjoy the Wii U. So that's pretty uh, cool, I gotta admit. So, uh, yeah! Coolio! Okay, biggest news actually in this whole entire week. And I mean this whole entire week, and today's just Tuesday, which I'm recording this from like what, May 14th. This was released Saturday, I believe, or Sunday. But it's the biggest news on there. Pokemon. It's more Pokemon. Koro Koro, which is a Pacific Japanese magazine, revealed four new Pokemon. For Pokemon X and Pokemon Y, he revealed, I say he as in they, so they revealed the next, uh, okay, sorry, they revealed how the cover art will look for for Pokemon Black and, uh, Black, Pokemon X and Y. Me, personally, I want X, but now when I look at the cover on Y, I, I want I want Y now. It's a changing aspect for everyone, man. Why is actually looking better than X? Trust me. Go, go. If you can find, go to Cerebi.net. Cerebi. S E R E B I I dot net. You'll find it there. All right? Anyways, uh, they just revealed four new Pokemon. One's an electricity, I'm sorry, an electric normal type Pokemon. One's a normal flying type, which 100% we know Ash is going to be getting this Pokemon. And I mean Ash from the anime series. Ash Ketchum from Pallet Town. It's because Ash gets every normal Pokemon and every normal flying Pokemon from um, the anime, which he got Pidgeotto. Uh, there was no new from Johto, so he got Ho Oh, which is a psychic. No, Ho Oh. Yeah, Ho Oh, the legendary Pokemon. No. Hoot Hoot, the, the psychic normal flying Pokemon, whatever the fuck. Pokemon. And then uh, Swellow. And then Staraptor. And then, uh, 
No, Star Raptor, and then, uh, come on, come on, you Pheasant, or Unpheasant, whatever, and then, yeah, so, it's getting all the normal flying types all the time, so it doesn't matter, so we know it's going to be a Pokemon. Uh, honestly, I going to tell you right now, I don't know the real names, but I'm going to try my best to pronounce them, okay? I, like, they're right here, the real, the real names, like, they're right here, but I just can't pronounce them well, okay? One, I'm pretty sure I can pronounce 100%, the other three, I don't even know if I can. Anyways, uh, there's another one that's, that looks like a goat, and this goat, is actually pretty impressive because there was I don't think there's another goat Pokemon I could think of. So hey, new actual thing. Also, uh, the electric normal type thing. I don't even know what to explain what the fuck it is. I, I can't explain it. And then the last fourth Pokemon that uh they revealed is a panda bear looking Pokemon. And it looks like a dark normal nature, so I'm gonna assume it's a dark type, but it's a panda bear and not a, like a bear like in Tediosa, so it's a panda bear, so hey, it's a panda. Panda, 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 I don't know. Alright, so, uh, okay. Oh, actually, they tell me the, the the types right here. Okay, that's great. So, hmm, let's see. Okay, the electric normal type Pokemon, his name is Elec, no, Elecitoru? Elecitoru? Elec, I spell it out to you. E L I K I T E R U. Elekatoru. Elekatoru. It sounds like a Tauros kind of electric thing. That's, that's what I'm hearing in my head, but I don't know. Okay, the next one is the 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 normal flying type Pokemon. His name is Yayakuma. Yoyakuma. No, yeah, yeah. Y A Y A. So yeah, yeah. And then K O M A, coma. So yeah, Yakuma. That one actually sounds kind of a funny uh, Japanese name. <laughs> oh, and I'm pointing out these are uh, the Japanese names that I know of right now. I'm not sure if it's actual English names, but we'll most likely get them in a while. Or if they are, then oh, weird English names. All right, the next one is the goat. His name is the easiest of them all. It's Go Goat. That is it. Go as in G O and Goat as in G O A T. Go Goat is the grass type goat Pokemon. So, interesting. So, yeah. And uh, the panda, I guess it's a fighting type, and its name is Yan Yancham. Yancham. So, I guess it's a fighting type. But that kind of makes sense with the Cham. Again, I, I don't know, but the champ, I can hear the champion part or something. So yeah, that's that's cool, and, and and stuff, and yada yada yada, and blah 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 blah, and I, I don't know. <laughs> um, also, uh, pointing out to all those Club Nintendo uh, members, if you bought Super Metroid, like about a month or two ago from Club Nintendo, they're Giving you your coins back. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I hear baby crying. I don't care. For now, there's, there's people watching. Here's the thing. Next, next couple weeks, maybe one week or two from now, on May fifteenth, uh, for all those Wii U owners. Um, even if you don't have, well, yeah, you have to have a Wii U, actually. For all you Wii U owners only, sorry for not Wii U owners, because you can't get this special. Sorry. But if you got it, Super Metroid on your Club Nintendo account, and got it with the 150 coins that they were asking, or something, during the time, when you got the game, they're giving you back, because, for all we Wii U owners, we're actually getting the same game in about, like I said, a month, or, or less, or way less, I don't know, two weeks. And it's going to be only 30 cents, which is even a bigger deal than the 150 coins from Sir Metroid. So, at first, this is my opinion, and it's the greatest opinion, because this is how I felt. At first, I excited for Sir Metroid. Very excited. So I was like, oh my god, it's right there in Club Nintendo, I have to get it now, kind of thing. And I did, I got it. But then I was realizing, oh shit, they, then they announced like week or two later or something, that 
Super Metroid and F Zero and all those other games are gonna be thirty cents for the Wii U. So that's a, a good thing for me. But if you're a diehard Metroid fan or a, a person that just bought it, was wanting to see if it was good, you're getting coins back just because you're also gonna get on the Wii U basically because it means thirty cents and it's a limited time offer and no one's gonna pass that up. No one. And I'm sorry for your European users. I know it's sixty cents, but I'm saying. Anyways, but it's just amazing. So right now, if you go to Club Nintendo, they will be giving your coins back. So go go check it out. And like, I'll just actually, you know, I'll just read you the 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 the, the, the thing, okay? Dear Club Nintendo member, thank you for your recent order of Super Metroid from Club Nintendo. We're sending this notification to let you know. This title is going to be available from the Nintendo eShop for the Wii U for 30 cents. I hear, I hear my mom. As a part of special promotion starting on May 15th, which the special promotion is for the Wii U owners for the 30 cents thing, because you are a Wii U owner, we have refunded the 150 coins you redeemed for Super Metroid. You may still use the code you received to download the game for free to play a to play on Wii or Wii U. We hope you enjoy the game and visit Club Nintendo again soon. Bye, Nintendo. So, that's pretty amazing. Thanks, Nintendo, uh, for for correcting what I guess you didn't realize. But hey, <laughs> I'm happy. This, the, it's like a win-win for everyone. It, it is. So, good job, guys. Anyways, uh, also, the new Club Nintendo uh, stuff that's happening as of now until June 5th, so do it soon. Do it soon. Is uh, I'm gonna just I'm gonna do the ones that nobody cares about until the ones that that's the most mo most notable one. So on a Nintendo DS I wear or a Nintendo 3DS uh, eShop, you can get Art Style Equia. I don't know for 100 coins on Club Nintendo. The next one is Maboshi's Arcade. It's on the Wii Wear, 150 coins on a Club Nintendo. The next one is the, the second last one. 3D Classics Excite Bike Nintendo 3DS eShop, 150 coins. Uh, that was that's a pretty good deal. Now this is the best one of all. This one I left it all, left it out the most. Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars Wii Virtual Console for 200 coins is now available for Nintendo Wii Shop. Not Wii Shop. Wii. Go, go call Nintendo. Do now. Go get it if you never had it. Or Super Nintendo. I don't know. Go just do it. If you, if you don't have it, then don't do it. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, that's most likely it with news on all that subjects because it's really... Not much going on with Xbox other than they're not giving us many names for the, uh, well, not giving us many names. Not giving us options for the, the next Xbox. We already know it's going to be two names, or three. I think it was three. Okay. Well, the first one we all know is Xbox 720, which most likely would not happen. The actual name was not specifically the name. And my baby niece is in my room, which I'm going to try to ignore. And she's going to talk to me. Just watch. The next one I heard was... Xbox, so uh, what was it, like, something, I don't know, it's some stupid name, but it doesn't matter, that one's probably not even going to be real. This one is the most official like name, because everyone is getting their hands on the name now, and uh, the first person that actually revealed this news was by Sega, Sega, just because they also revealed, here's another information, another news, Sonic Excursion. Which is supposed to be a new Sonic 3D game coming to the Wii U, Xbox 360, PS3, PS4, maybe. I don't know, and all other consoles that might, or handhelds that might support it. And that's going to be amazing, Sonic Exertion. But the one thing nobody knew is that they were going to reveal the next Xbox name. Nobody knew that. At all. Nobody knew it. So the next Xbox name is going to be called... Xbox Infinite. Literally, Xbox Infinite. Maybe it's in memory. I want her to leave. And once she leaves, I will close the door. Watch it. Go, 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 go. Okay. My family talks really loud, so I have to try to speak over there. Anyways, 
Uh, yeah, so the next Xbox is going to be Xbox Infinite. I've seen fun. I haven't, I haven't seen funny ones. I seen just logos has been made. So, hey, the word Xbox, like the original, like hey, 360 kind of font with the logo, and it just has a little infinity sign. Wait, it's like it's like the the side words eight, you know the the, the thing, yeah, the thing. Okay, that. Um, and I I just seen this like one that's so freaking ridiculous. Like it's the old Xbox logo from the original Xbox with the black X. Thing and it just says infinity. Who knows? Who knows? They can they can form both both old and the press whatever and infuse it somehow. <laughs> Anyways, I don't care about Call of Duty, but this is a news. The next Call of Duty game is gonna be called Call of Duty Ghosts or Ghost. Sorry, this is because I personally have never played Modern Warfare 2. I'm sorry. I know it's the best one out there. I know. I know. Stop. Hey. Hey. Stop. Just. Just. just I know Modern Warfare 2 is the best one that there is. But I never, ever played the, the campaign. I don't even own it. I only played it online because my friend, oh my friend, my cousin, Exceeding Wolf, let me play it on his Xbox and play it online just for fun. That is it. So, yeah, the next, okay, the next Ghost, yeah, the next Call of Duty game is called Call of Duty Ghost. That's it. It's already revealed. It's on all of Xbox news. You can go on your 360 if you have one and just sign in and go to the dashboard and bam, the first thing you see is talk about X Call of Duty Ghost or something. I don't know. Anyways, um, okay, sorry, I just saw something kind of weird for a second. No, it wasn't weird. Uh, ooh, and the bathroom. So, that's really it. I've been wanting to do an episode because I haven't done it for a while and I'm sorry about that. But anyways, in general, my name is Phoenix Seeing Shadow. Like the video, add this friend, subscribe, share friends, favorite it, and please leave a comment in the comments below and follow me on Twitter on Shadow Nice and Forex and Exceeding Shadow. Until then, it's God bless, happy gaming, have a great day, and see you guys in the next episode of Shadow Gaming News. But there's one last thing I should say. Today, for PS3 owners, because I do remember this from the morning, I wanted to leave this one as the last thing because it's something I care about a lot and not many people know about it. For PS3 owners only for right now that I know of, you can get the exclusive downloads of all new DLC downloadable characters from the game Skullgirls. Skullgirls is a game that's on the Xbox Live Arcade and PlayStation Network. Hopefully it may be on the Nintendo console, most likely in the future if there is. I don't know, it's rated them for mature kind of rating. But hey, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's rated teen. I don't know. In general, uh, you can get new characters. I personally don't know it. I don't have a PS3 and I can't see the actual downloadable characters list if I go to PS3.com or something or PlayStation Network.com or whatever. I could probably see it, but I'm too lazy, so I'm going to just leave you guys at that. And, and for Xbox owners, don't worry, we will get it soon because we always get about things about a week later or before sometimes. I don't know. Anyways, until then, gamers, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys for the next one, right? Deuces.